Let's go! You can tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence as they touch gloves. And here we go. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. It's time for our tale of the tape. Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. And his opponent here, none other than Alexander Usyk. Six foot three and 198 centimeter reach. Oh my goodness, look at the reach difference there. That reach is going to be an absolute nightmare to deal with. Because if that jab is used and that right hand is followed, there is going to be a problem tonight. Tyson Fury, he's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Ukraine. As soon as the ball goes, don't blink. That fight could be over. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Manchester, England. And standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world, the Gypsy King. Tyson Fury! Hiding out of the blue corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist from Ukraine, an undisputed cruiserweight world champion, and a unified heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk! The fans are ready, and it looks like the fighters are now ready. The wait is over. The speaking stop, the fight begins now. Let's get answers. Under the bright lights here for this one, really good matchup, and we're hoping for a really good fight. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. You can tell who's stronger and who's faster. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches is better. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Usually you don't have to worry about getting a sunburn when you're fighting Johnny, but that's certainly the case today with the sun blazing. This is taking boxing back to its roots outside where you've got the crowd there. You can hear everything. You've got the breeze of the wind. You've got the heat of the sun. You know when you're doing this? Your feet are on fire, Tom. They're on fire in the ring. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. This is with the straight left. Some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. You'd like to see more jabs. When are we despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Oh. 
Let's talk about Fury in that last round. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. Three, three, go through the round. Don't worry about the knockdown. Don't worry about the tough round. Three, zero, left. Right. In this next round, I want you to get through the rest. Step in. Keep moving. Keep moving. Don't take any clean shots. And every time he gets close, tie him up. Grab hold of him. All right, this next round, I just want you to get through the round. Don't take any clean shots. And every time he gets close, tie him up. Don't worry about the tough round. Just get through this next round. I want you to get through the round. They ring the bell, and here we go. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. That jab misses. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. If you're a counter puncher, then basically you do the counter attack. You let them get their punch off first and then you answer in kind. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers are watching you, watching your every move, that every switch. Nice straight. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Fury in that last round. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Oh, three, three, go to the round. Don't worry about the knockdown. Don't worry about the tough round. Three, four, eight. Right. In this next round, I want you to get through the rest. Step in. Keep moving. Keep moving. Don't take any clean shots. And every time he gets close, tie him up. Grab hold. And there's the bell to start the round. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not... Broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. No rest for the weary. He misses with that straight left. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. Both men step back for just a moment. Halfway through the round, and it's pretty much even Steven. No defense for that hook. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Straight left hand. These two were made for each other. Not
Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. And relax. Right. In this next round, I want you to get through the rest. Step in. Keep moving. Keep moving. Don't take any clean shots. And every time he gets close, tie him up. Grab hold of him. All right, this next round, I just want you to get through the round. Don't take any clean shots. And every time he gets close, tie him up. Worry about the tough round. Just get through this next round. And when you get through the round, just get through the round. Don't do nothing stupid. All right, don't, don't take any clean shots. And every time he gets close, tie him up. Grab get on the end of the jab. Keep stepping. Keep moving. Keep the referee calling for seconds out. Right back into the action. Don't worry about the knockdown. Don't. Good. Right. In this next round, and when you get through the round, just get through the round. And We're hoping for an all act. slugfest after that last round something has got to change this is one of those situations you've just been hurt you've got to get out there again be smart be sharp don't be a fool don't get sucked in make him fight Your fight, hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a big chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've gone in the ring with fighters like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? You wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of a shot from that heavyweight. These two are the perfect dance partners. They have no respect for each other's punching power. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. What do you think of this fight so far, Johnny? You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Nice hook. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. He is down big time on the scores. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Breathe and relax. Okay, how do you feel? How do you feel? All right, breathe, breathe, go to the round. Don't worry about the knockdown. Don't worry about the tough round. Breathe and relax. Right, in this next round, I want you to get through the rest. Step in, keep moving, keep moving. Don't take any clean. They ring the bell and here we go. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on.
Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Well, just a couple rounds left, Johnny. What's your assessment so far? What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know... You can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can we do? You can't make a mistake at the heavyweight level and not expect to be punished for it. The jab not finding its target. You'd like to see more jabs. There's a counter shot. Nice counter shot. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. Tried to score with a jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. Dominance, without a doubt, make look so, so easy. All right, three, three, four, two, one. Don't worry about the next one. And there's the bell to start the round. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this that can seriously hurt you? They know the second they touch you, it's done. They're that powerful. Both men step back for just a moment. And he fails to score with that left hook. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself down trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Good fight so far. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. And he misses with that straight left. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt. This round can go either way. Ten seconds to Tyson Fury just got rocked. Do you believe this? Let's talk about Fury in that last round. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter, and the tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. Otherwise, they'll see it and they'll ride it out. Go out there and finish it. And there's the bell to start the round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. They hit like heavyweights, but they move like middleweights. Truly elite level stuff here. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. 
No rest for the weary. <laughs> Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. One punch could end this fight for either of these two heavyweights. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around us. Work the body, use tactics sometimes, it's so hard like to actually outplot the fight and beat them on points. And he scores with the counter. He misses with that jam. Holding nothing back here in the round. A lot of effort. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? Wow, it's like two different leagues. That's what. Good round. Good round. I like that. I'm happy. I can't miss it. Great work. Stay focused. Don't let that right hand's beautiful. That's it. Just start working a few body shots in there. Hurry up a little bit. I get me timing already. The right hand's beautiful. That's it. Start just sticking a few body shots in there a little bit. Just bury it up a little bit so you can't figure out. They ring the bell, and here we go. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart, because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. <laughs> What do you think of what we've seen so far from these two boxers, Johnny? It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit, and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. You can't make a mistake at the heavyweight level and not expect to be punished for it. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Ukrainian has been rattled. Not the way either one of these fighters hoped it would go, but they can't be too upset. No one loses here. This fight's a draw. What a fight. What a battle. I'm exhausted watching it myself. And you know what? I'm happy it's a draw because nobody deserved to lose and nobody deserved to win. These guys put it on the line.